Carson Puckett, thank you for joining me. Thank and you. Thank you for having us out here at your incredible home on the lake. <laughs> You've been spending a lot more time out here than you ever anticipated. Yeah. <laughs> so before we talk about that, I want to talk a little bit about you. 2018, you're a sophomore. You are the first South Carolina commit to Clemson's brand new softball program. And I have to ask you, what is it like to get a call from a Division One coach, John Rittman, of all people. I mean, what's that like to get a call to say, we want you after all these years of travel ball, putting your heart into that game? What does that feel like? Walk us through that. Um, it just feels like all my hard work paid off. I was um, actually in class when he called me and like, you know, the little phone pocket things on the wall, you have to put your phone in before you go to class. My phone was in there just going off and my teacher was like, someone's phone is ringing crazy. So I was like, it's mine. So I went up there and answered it and I saw it was my mom and I was like, why would my mom be calling me in class? So I sat down and answered it. She was like, you need to call Coach Ritman right now. He's trying to get in touch with you because um, he had talked to my travel coach before. And so I had to tell my teacher to hold my test and I had to go outside of school and call him. And then he called me and he was like, when I offer you the first spot of South Carolina on the team and I just like fell out on the on the concrete like crying. He probably thinks I'm crazy, but um, it was it was just a surreal moment. Has that always been a goal? I mean when you started playing softball was that you wanted to play D one or was there a goal? I mean walk us through that. Yeah, I've always knew I wanted to play big D one softball. Like I wanted to be on TV, I wanted to end up at the Women's College World Series. I would fall asleep at night when I was like 12, just watching replays of the World Series game. So it's always been a huge thought of mine. And when did you start playing? About nine years old. It's and been a while. Did your parents get you into it? I mean, you're yeah. known as just a Mac Daddy pitcher. <laughs> you're pretty much a legend. People <laughs> opposing you hate to see you on the mound or, or God help us when you're at that because I've, I've been a coach on the opposing team, but, but you're pretty legendary here in South Carolina. How did it all come about? When did you start playing? Uh, my parents just put me in all different types of sports. I played soccer. I did gymnastics. Um, and then I just stuck with softball. I even played the violin. It just wasn't my thing. So. <laughs> you can't hit anyone with a violin. <laughs> yeah. So I just stuck with softball. So you pretty much in, in South Carolina earned every accolade you can earn. And, and then in, in 2019, Cardinal Newman won the uh, Skiza 3A Division Championship. So I can only imagine that as, as a senior, you're thinking you're going to cruise. This is going to be a year you have... You know you're going to Clemson, you're set. This is just going to be a year you're going to enjoy. So so walk me through that. Was that, you know, going into your senior year, what were you thinking? What was your what was your senior year supposed to be? Um, It was just to, like, ball out and have fun. I was like, we got a good team. I know we're going to have a good season. My goal was to win another state championship. And then after our game against Lexington, I got told that our senior season was canceled. It was just me and all the team. We were just like crying, but like. <laughs> I mean, what's that like? You are, of course, one of countless seniors, high school and college, that are just going through the motions, expecting to have this incredible senior year. And then March comes, and then it just vanishes. Do you remember your first thought? Uh, I wasn't upset because, like, I'd be, I was at home, I was doing school, but then now I'm here, I've been here for more, over a month, and it, it just, I don't even know what to say, like, I miss my friends, and then I miss going to school, I miss my team, and I just feel like I'm missing out on a lot of senior stuff that I don't get to have anymore. Have you had really time to process it? Have you, do you sit here and dwell on it? Do you think I'm missing that, I'm missing that? I mean... Walk us through that. What's it like? What, do you, yeah. what are you thinking? I, I think about it a lot. I just, I'm not really like an outgoing person. Like I don't hang out with my friends every weekend. So when I heard that school was getting canceled, I was just like, well, dang, that's my only time to see my friends because I don't really have time on the weekends to do it because of softball. And um, it just kind of made me sad because I know that since I was well going to leave for college early in June, um, I knew that I, my time was cut short with them, but now since um, we don't get to move in, I know that I'll get to see them over the summer. So. What's emotionally, like, how would you rate yourself? Do you feel bitter? <laughs> are you resigned? I mean, where are you? Are you 
Like, do you walk around the house angry? I mean, what, what what's going through? Or is it all those things that walk us through it? It's um, all of it. I There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about how I want to be at school. But um, I wouldn't say it's, like, making me sad. It is making me sad, but it's not something that I uh, think about every single day. But, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's just something different that's never happened before. Does it feel surreal almost? Like, yeah. Do you have to pinch yourself and go on? Yeah. I th I've been thinking all this time. I've just, it's summer, and I just can't hang out with my friends because I have softball. But, like, I'm doing schoolwork all the time, and all, I'm missing all these things. Like, I think yesterday was supposed to be our senior night for softball, and we just... So what are you doing? Are you doing the Zoom meetings? How are you and your friends coping? What yeah, we're, um... We have Zoom meetings some days, but like Zoom, I think is the only thing that's keeping me like sane because I get to talk to all my friends, I get to talk to my teachers, and um, it's not as bad as everyone think it is. I just miss like the face-to-face -face interactions with all of them. And that was my next question. What are you missing the most? Uh, just cutting up with my friends, <laughs> and um, definitely softball practice. That's that was like the highlight of my day every single day. And now that I can't have it, it's not the same when you have to come out here and practice by yourself and you don't have your team to like play around with and then get the job done while you're having fun with it. Are you fearful about anything? I mean, and, and that's something in particular about uh, young women your age and about seniors. Is this something that you're fearful about or is it just something you feel like you're going through and you'll, you'll walk through it and it'll be done? Uh, I think... I'm fearful and I think I'm both of them because I'm scared that we will eventually not have a graduation and then I know they've already pushed prom back but I don't think I'm going but <laughs> and um, I'm just scared that other people will feel like they missed out on a big part of their life which I feel the same way but I don't think I'm scared of it. It's just something that I'm going through and I know that everyone else is going through too. So what are you doing to stay sharp, especially as an athlete? What are you doing at home to, to keep keep your skills up? Um, I've made like these at home workout routines and I work out, I run. Um, we just went to the field the other day for like four hours and I pitched, I hit, I did defense. We did some feet work stuff. Um, but it's just like a normal day in summer because that's all I do. But um, yeah, just like hitting off the tee and stuff like that and working out is what I do at home. Do you feel like you've been robbed? And, and when you talk to your friends, do they feel like they've been robbed or something? Uh, I feel like I've been robbed of time with my friends and um, getting another shot at winning a state championship. That's the only part that I feel that got taken away from me. Um, my friends, they, they don't feel robbed. Like they don't really care because they're at home. And um, most of them, some of my friends play sport, but most of them don't. And they just take it like another day. But if you're not an athlete, it probably don't feel the same way. But Now, I know a little bit about your family and your history, and, and I know that, that, that this is a family of faith. So I'm going to ask you, how has your faith helped? I mean, uh, our faith teaches us that God wastes nothing. So have you had time to even reflect on that? Uh, yeah, it's, um, I pray about it a lot. I um, just read motivational scriptures just to keep myself going. And then um, we have theology class on Zoom. And then we just always um, pray over each other and write stuff about ourselves that we want um, for our teacher to pray for us about. And um, it's, it's a good thing because I think some people need to pray over a time like this. Is God teaching you anything? Have you learned anything about yourself? Maybe are you stronger or more, res more resilient than you thought? Is, uh, any good lessons coming out of this? Uh, don't take anything for granted. I definitely think something like this is making me stronger because now that I know that this is happening, um, I can always appreciate the things that I do and don't take anything for granted. Has it changed you? No, I don't think so. Um, no, it's made me a stronger person, but that's about it. Do you feel like uh, you might be hungrier when you go back? Are you? Uh, do you think it'll make you a better player, or just ready? I mean, 
like I said at the beginning, those of us who've had to oppose you have <laughs> dreaded it when we knew you, we were facing you. But do you feel like it's going to give you even more of a competitive edge? Do you think it's going to make uh, other athletes softer because they've had this time? I mean, what do you think about yourself when you finally get to Clemson and get to be among your new teammates? I mean, what you're thinking about that? Um, I'm definitely ready to play. I think that's helping me competitive-wise. Um, I just want to go in there, have fun, play my position, and just love the game and play softball because it's been a while since I have. But other athletes, I think if you take this time as like a rest and you don't work at home and keep working like you were in season, I definitely think it's going to hurt you in some matter. As someone who's played this game for so long, there's so many girls across the state, especially who look up for you, who look up to you, and, and they're feeling really discouraged right now, especially girls who are supposed to be going into travel ball right now. What words of encouragement would you have for them? Uh, like I said, play every game like your last. Um, don't take anything for granted. I would definitely tell them to appreciate the time they have with their team and love the game and appreciate the game. So tell me about Clemson. What are you looking most forward to about Clemson when you get there? Honestly, I don't know why, but the workouts. Like, I love when I have a good workout and I have good people around me to work. Like, working out to me with my friends is fun, but like when I'm by myself, it's terrible. Like, I hate it, but um, I'm definitely looking forward to starting practice and working out with the team. And do you have dreams beyond that? Do you want to play pro ball? Do you hope to be drafted? Or <laughs> um, I've thought about it, but um, I really want to, because softball isn't going to last forever. So I've thought about um, because becoming a physical therapist and um, hopefully a coach at a college one day. So you're not sure yet about pro ball? No. I mean, if it happens, I'd love it, but... I just know softball is not going to get me so far in life. What, what fuels you? What really fuels you? Is it competition? Is it love of the sport? Is it your parents? I mean, what what just gets you fired up on that field? Definitely the competition that I play and sometimes my parents because I know if I don't <laughs> play to my best, it'll be a bad ride home. But um, d definitely just for myself because if I play good, then I feel good. And then um, definitely competition is what fires me up. Like if we're against a good team, I'm just in it. My adren adrenaline is running. That's the best time to play. And tell me about your faith. How, what have you learned about your own faith journey during this time? Um, I've learned that God's got this and whatever happens, happens. Um, I've definitely prayed about it a lot, but is in his control, not mine. Put your, put 20 years from now, what are you gonna tell your kids about this time in your life and about missing your senior year? What will you tell them? I tell them to have fun. Like, don't take anything for granted. Like I said, um, definitely love the game and they'll love you back and good things will happen. You want them to be ballers? I do. <laughs> Carson Puckett, thank you. I do have a gift for you. <laughs> I want you to have this body check back. It's the company Reagan and I run. You Thank know, you. Reagan. It's got a little bit of everything in it, and uh, you can hang it on your friends at Clemson. And remember your Miss Senior year. <laughs> Thank, you. Love it. Thank you. Thank you.